Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to it, another episode on your favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. So it's been a long break. Uh, I've taken uh, since I was working on preparing for the threat dump and heat dump scenarios, uh, uh, the training. So I'm not able to uh, uh, regularly concentrate on the content, but now I have come back. Uh, the J meter and the, the threat dump and heat dump training content are getting created, but still I just wanted to share this with you. I mean, it's, it's kind of an interview question that's been asked in terms of the correlation part and the task here is uh, to understand how the regex the regular expression works and how does the correlation part works so firstly we all know uh, correlation is all about two actions one is the extraction and the second play second point second action is to replace it so extraction and uh, replacement is what the correlation works but the point here is how are we going to extract the value how are we going to extract the value and how are we going to replace it so the first problem is in the ways of extraction so we can use regular expressions there are lots and lots of uh, ways to extract your values but the point here is um, some of them might work and some of them might not work because there will be like a lot of strings the literals uh, the escape sequences which are in the uh, in the value so you must be very careful about extracting them and replacing them in a proper manner so this again is an interview question so please do watch it entirely and then you'll be able to understand and also uh, please start preparing some cheats sheets on this like if this particular uh, uh, expression comes in or some format comes in then you will be able to clear that or you'll be able to crack it so now moving on to the topic so let me in fact i'll just show you uh, so yeah so here uh, what happens is like during a, a a performance testing script so there is this particular expression the customers uh, and then there is this value this is the id uh, of a of a user a customer id and then we have the bank accounts so the the point here is we have to extract uh, and replace the bank account for every different user ID. Say, for example, if I myself, Vasant, has logged into the application, I might get this ID, like 13988, and my, my friend, the other user, Saranan, logs into the application and he gets an ID, like 15333, something like that. So I can parameterize my login, but how will I correlate the value? And for that, I will have to use a regular expression. So that should not be in hard coding. I mean, there is an option where you can do parameterization. Yes, you might be coming up with that point. Like, why can I do, why can not I do parameterization? Yes, you can do it. But just imagine if your application is completely dynamic and every time you get new users and every time your um, IDs are getting changed every time. In that case, what will be your uh, ideal situation? Yes, and that's how your interview question comes in. So the situation is this, your uh, customer ID is dynamic. You cannot hard code it you don't have option or opportunity or enough time to collect those data from the databases i mean uh, to uh, create or to uh, parameterize your data so in that case what is going to be your option and you have uh, the symbol plus symbol wrapped on both the sides so in that case how are you going to correlate this and if you want to know i have the similar scenario so here if you see i've got the value the customers 15098 accounts and let me quickly show you this one here so right click on it and do a quick validate so now when i execute it i'll just show you uh, okay so obviously it did fail the request okay uh, the user login required yep so the login has been uh, uh, deleted let me just quickly recreate and then i'll re replicate the scenario for you yep so now the issue is fixed let me just quickly do a quick validation of the script and here you can see the application is coming up with the necessary ids and just to show you here so it has got 15098 as the customer id and how are you going to correlate it so that's the problem here and if i could show you the customer yep so here i should i should show you in the presentation so it shows customers and then the plus symbol and then the accounts so now most of you must be telling that okay i can why cannot use the dot star question mark yes let's let's try that right so what i'm going to do is so this request here so now if i go back uh the step the script four six eight and if i'm going to do the correlation part say for example here i'm going to add the regular expression extractor and let me just give like customer id 
and in fact even we don't need to go there uh, we can even do the testing it testing it in the regex tester so that's why we have this regex tester right so if i go back to my regex tester here and if i copy paste it and when i try to click on find when i click on test see it shows zero count because even this same value which i want to find is not available in the system uh what i can do now is let me i can just quickly search for this in here yep so these are available in this value when these are you can search them but not as, as a regular expression so that's the point here and in fact if i'm using the lazy expression the regular expression dot star question mark this won't work and that's how your question here is so the the, the interviewer tells you that okay so you have to find the dynamic value that is getting populated in between the customers forward slash double quotes a space and then the plus and then the customer id in the between in the middle and then you have the accounts at the end so how are you gonna fix this what is going to be your regular expression so i'm going to explain you uh, with this example here and for that i'm going to take you to the next slide here so you need to correlate the dynamic value in, in this scenario that the five digit number so that jmeter could automatically capture the value from the previous response and it can reuse it in the subsequent requests yes so if you see here i will be using this in the subsequent request and based on that your account numbers are also going to change right so the pattern challenge here is the customers and then the forward slash so you have literal plus signs so they are not string concatenation and in fact you have spaces as well like you have spaces uh, before and after the literal plus signs so you have to extract just the numeric value so this is going to be your task so how are you going to approach this so coming back to the next one so your first step is you have to analyze the pattern so no matter what no matter what you get uh, even in an interview, just analyze the pattern first. Carefully examine the exact response format. And this is going to be your original response. So you have your customers, uh, the number, and then your accounts, and break it down. So you have to break it down in a way that customers slash is going to be your literal text, and then your double quotes, which is your quote character. And then you have a literal plus sign. And then you have your dynamic number. So you are going to break all your responses and then you again you have a dynamic number target so and then you have a literal plus symbol with a space and then you have a code character and then the literal text at the end which is the word called accounts so now i'll show you uh, how are we going to do this so before that okay let me just get this one and i'll show you a uh, step by step let me go to jmeter now and before i completely paste it for you i'll just keep start from the beginning so start from the first here so firstly, I'll start with the customers. And if I search for customers, yes, I do get one value, right? So the first thing, that is the customers forward slash. So this is actually the literal string. So you're trying to match the exact customers string. And so this will actually ensure that the regular expression starts matching at the correct part of the response. So you are now at the correct part of your response. And then you're going to match the double character, right? So double quotes. And for that, you're going to add the double quotes here. And yes, it has come. So you have got your double quotes. And then you are going to match the white character, right? So the white character or the white space. So here, if you see, you've got a white space, right? So for the white space, you are going to add a forward slash yes. And when I do a test, yes. So now you have got it. So you got some response back. And then you are going to add the next set of values that is the star so you know what a star means so the forward slash it's like the backslash as star means you're going to match zero or any white space characters it can be one or two or it can be more white space characters so when i click on test yes so it's still working and then the next part is you are going to add the backslash plus so this will actually match the literal plus sign so now you have matched the customers the forward slash the double quotes and then a white space and then you have moved to the plus symbol with a backslash plus so you're gonna you are escaping your plus with the backslash right and then there is another space yes the same way backslash yes so this will add the uh, slash uh, the space after the plus symbol 
and now the critical part yes we are going to get the digits right and for that digit just add a bracket the backslash d plus and then close i'll explain you what is this so the slash the backslash d will match any digit just understand any digit between 0 to 9 and then the plus symbol at the end will match one or more digits say for example if you have like five digits or like 10 digits yes you're gonna match the slash d will match digits between 0 to 9 and the plus symbol will match one or more digits so if you have like in this case we have five digits so we are matching five digits and then we are capturing this group with the bracket the open and the close bracket will capture which means the value matched inside the parenthesis will be saved yes so now we have got the value let me quickly do a test so see now we have got the full value the set of values until this part the customers and then we have got the match one of one yes even we can use this value as a regular expression but i want to make it complete so what i'll do is the space here yes we all know how to do it a backslash yes yes that is saved that has been created and then the same way what we did for the the left boundary we are going to do for the same for the right boundary and after the space we have the plus symbol so i'm going to do it with the slash and plus this will get me the plus symbol yes and then we have another space so another backslash yes we got that as well and now the double quotes and for double quotes we are going to escape it right how are we going to escape it is we're going to use the yep you're right so we're going to use the slash and for that after the star and then i'm going to add the double quotes and the slash accounts so this will get me the right value so now i have got the value and if i use this value for regular expression so let's quickly do it and see what happens I'm going to a regular expression customer id regular expression and yes the dollar it's going to be group one and the first match default value is going to be not sorry not found and i'm going to use this value here so when i say here in this place so dollar open traces customer id save it i can even uh, i think i have to do it in another place as well let me do a quick search before that let me get this value first go to search search again yes it's in four 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 yep it's a here so dollar symbol open traces oh sorry uh customer id close save and now we are good to validate so right click do a quick validate over the existing file coming to the view results tree and in the previous one if you see uh let me i can even show you this request uh, the first point here right and then the login yeah so here uh you can see the customer id is 15098 and coming back to the same set here it is 15431 yes so now it has worked and you uh, you are successfully able to demo that to the customer so as i told you the customers the little text match for the optional white space just remember this could be your interview question so optional white space is forward slash backslash s star and then the little plus sign to escape it you have to use a backslash and then you have to capture the group of digits so slash d is digits and the plus symbol is any number of digits so slash d is zero to nine and plus is any number of digits and then you have got your original white space and then the little plus sign to escape and then your original white space again and then the little text match so by doing this you will be able to set your value and i have clearly demo it for you so this is again another uh, question that you could get so as a result you will be able to successfully replace you extracted it and then you replaced it and then you are able to successfully demo your question and then your real life challenge as well so thank you thank you so much for watching this video until i see you all in the next video it's bye bye from us channel, my favorite little star youtube channel take care and bye bye